Today is day seven, and we thought we would uh, do our wrap up, uh, our end of the day bedtime talk wrap up. Mm -hmm. um, we're here in our hotel room at the uh, Premier in Waterloo, if you haven't been following along, in uh, London. And uh, today we visited uh, Greenwich. So we started off the day like we have every other day. We have our Mr. Kipling in the room for breakfast. Might have something different here, sorry, though. Yeah. Uh, um, we um, uh, we made our way to Just the bus stop. The bus stop, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we got on the bus. Kevin said, "Do you mind being on the bus for like forty-five minutes?" And I said, "No, not at all." And I, I looked at it when it pulled in because I said, "If no one's at the top." Sorry, I drank Coca-Cola. Um, <laughs> I said, if no one's up at the top, we'll go up to the top since we're going to be on it for 45 minutes and try to get that front seat and I can film out the front. And so th that's what we did. And it, the locals, it's funny because you could tell all the people on the bus were locals and none of them care anything about sitting up front. No, they all sit in the back. Yeah, they all, they, they go up there and they go straight to the back and it's like they don't even care to look out the front at all. I think that even if I lived there, you just want to sit up, up front a little bit. Well, sure, I'd still want to look out. The, have you seen just it five me, days though. a week, though? That's just me, though. I I like to look at things, yeah. and um, it's just like driving to Lexington. I've been driving to Lexington every day for twenty some years. I don't pay attention to what's around me right. on the trip, so I don't care. I don't I don't but look because like I've seen it a thousand times. Going for a walk, we go for a walk around the same streets at home. Yeah. But I love it and I you look do. forward to it. You, and you're that, just an odd. You're an oddity. That's just me. So, <laughs> I, I, personally, <laughs> I would always sit at the front. Yeah. Um, but we made our way to Greenwich and uh, we went in Greenwich Park. Which and the bus driver could have stopped right at the door. And said he went to the next stop, so we had to walk all the way back. Even though I had pushed the button to stop, he said, "No, I'm not gonna stop there." And went to the next one, so we, we had to walk why, back. But um, whatever. <laughs> anyway, at the beginning of the trip, it seems like maybe the first day. I think it was the first day we were here. We went to Muswell Hill. Yeah. And for the views. For the views, and we thought, "Oh, this is a terrific view. Nothing, you know, this is a great view." And it was pretty far away. I was shocked when we got in Green, Greenwich Park. We went in the park and you go straight back. Yeah. You don't veer off and you go straight back. And this view is in front of you. It is absolutely beautiful. Mm, uh, good, you would not view. believe the city views that you get. And well, you'll believe it because you'll have seen the pictures if you watched yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. And it's not like when we went to Muswell Hill, you had to climb up a hill. It was awful. We were, we were walking up a hill. This wasn't like that. Depending this on was... where you got on, how you got to the Greenwich. We went to the observatory. So yes. the observatory is on top of a hill. Yes. Where we came in was the actual park entrance, and we walked into the park down yes. to it. If you were to go to Greenwich College, don't the do, University don't of Greenwich, don't go that way first. Don't go that way. No, don't. Um, don't because do that. the bad thing is that's where the tube's at. If you take a bus, you're going to go to the uh, park. If you're going to okay. ride the tube, you're going to get dropped off at that one station and have to trek your butt up the hill. That was the good thing about riding the bus. It though. was a, there was a big hill. So it's literally like this. Oh, it was bad. I mean, my going down it. You know when you're going down somewhere really, really steep and, and your toes, thump, thump, your thump, toes thump. go in the front of your, they're slid in the front of your shoes. That's how or, steep it was. That's how steep it was yeah. the whole way down. So can imagine climbing up it. There's, we would have been absolutely. Yeah, so I'm so glad that it worked out that way. I mean, yes. it wasn't intentional. I didn't intentionally do that. But uh, taking a bus from this hotel at least, we literally walked around the corner, walked to the end of the street, waited probably four minutes, four or five minutes, yeah. hopped on the bus, rode all the way there. They dropped us off at the wrong stop, but that's okay. Um, we still just walked right back a little bit and went down. It was it was perfect. And we had to walk down the hills to the thing. Yeah, but okay, so so we went to the- But beautiful views, it is beautiful um, views. That's what you were getting at. Must, must, um, you had to walk up a hill to see those views. Yes. You know, I don't think in the video I ever told how much we paid to get into the observatory. It was like 18 each, I'm pretty sure. It, we, you think it was... I'm almost positive it was 18. Yeah, because it was like 36 total. Yeah, I'm almost positive yeah, it was 18. Okay, I don't think I said, but um, 
If I didn't, yeah, it ended up being uh, like 36 pounds. Yeah, it's 18 pounds each. And, and we both kind of thought it should have been 18 pounds for both those. They was too expensive. About 9 pounds, 10 pounds a piece would have probably been more realistic yeah. for what you got to see. Yeah, I think that's the first, well, the, the, the first thing I can th remember at least. This trip? This trip. I that, think it's probably the one, only one I felt like, wow, that was really that we overpriced. Got, that was way overpriced. Yeah, yeah, we have not felt that way. Everything that we've paid for something, we felt like it was totally worth this trip. it. Now, last time we went, there was a couple of things we thought we were yeah. got overpaid for. But this time, yeah, this we time, really haven't paid a lot. No, we haven't. Prince we've been, yeah, we've pretty much been going to free things. Um, but anyway, it was way overpriced. It was you really, overpriced. You walk in, you walk in, and t you see the video. You probably have already seen the video. Um, you walk in, you walk around, you stand on the Prime Meridian, which if you care anything about it, that'll make a big deal to you. If not, you're going to be like, woohoo, it's a copper line, a, br a brass line in the road. Well, who cares? And then you walk through a house. That was pretty much it. I think. And, a gift um, shop. and you got to see a telescope. I think I'll probably have a video up of it by itself. Yeah, because you did take a lot. I think if you watch it, it. I hate to say this, but I think you'll be bored uh, because I just don't think it's everybody's cup of tea. There was not a lot to see um, or a lot to, there, there wasn't anything to do. Um, honestly, going up there and getting that view is what made it worth it. Was it. Free. And the that view was, was free. free. Yeah. And what's funny is you could go through the planetarium. It was, you know, it was open only to little kids today. And we said that during the video. It was only open to the like toddlers today. Yeah. Um, or young kids, but um, other days of the week you can go in there. I think she said after 12 is what she told me. You can go in after 12 and you can actually watch a planetarium, a show, and um, that would I be cool. I would love to. But have see, done that wasn't that. part of the admission price. That wasn't part, that was completely separate. So, see, we thought you went into a gated area and that was all included in that one price. Right. And Sid, you literally get this house and the gift shop and a, and a telescope, and that's it. Honestly, for the money, it would be worth the money if they would include the planetarium in it. Like and, a show. And they did a show every day for those people that were there. Yeah. You know, we're going to do it at, at these times, and if you're here, or if you want to wait around for the next show, if you missed the show before. It would be worth it. It would be well worth yeah. it. But um, it's the only planetarium in London, is what she said. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, it would have been totally would have been cool. neat. But, but they we, said it was a little kid's show today, too. Something explores... I said, but, I said like but, but I'm just, I'm, I'm just a big kid. <laughs> um, we would have enjoyed because it. Because we would have gone. We yeah, would have we totally have gone it. in there anyway, even though it was for preschool or so, something to watch. So it was, it was okay. It was a lot about time pieces and stuff like that, but I do think it was way too well, much Well, the money. thing is, is a lot of it, like Kevin said, was time pieces and it was these beautiful clocks. But if you've watched our previous London videos, we went to a clock museum. It was a science museum. And it, oh, okay, okay. And it was completely free. It's right behind the Natural History Museum. They were at the Science Museum. You walk in there, you'll literally spend half a day just walking around there. It's incredible. Uh, it's it's, it's absolutely neat incredible. The we didn't go this year because we'd been like watches last time. and clocks and things like that that you see. So for us to pay thirty six pounds to see a few here and there, and it, it, it just, just wasn't, wasn't worth it. it. No, yeah. you need to go to the science museum and see them for free. Watch and you the, will you will be awed. Yeah, I'm just watch you. our video of the, of the observatory and you'll save your money. Yeah, because we'll show you pretty much everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a shame, but that's the truth. However, once we left there, we walked down the very, 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 very steep hill and went to the Queen's house, which was free. Which was Queen Elizabeth. Yeah, and it was really, I mean, it wasn't the best thing we've ever seen, but it was nice and it was free, so it, was, it wasn't like we lost any money or anything. Yeah, now if you want a guided tour, it does cost, yeah. but we didn't. We don't mind just walking wherever we want. Yeah, and they got plenty of signs if you want to know what things are. You just I read filmed the in there. Um, it, there's a beautiful entry hall and the floors are, are black and white marble. Yeah. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's neat. I mean, it was a neat little house. And then yeah. we went to eat. It surprised us that their rooms were as, as small, small as they were. Yeah. And they're completely different ends. Because you went to the queen's bedroom in her anti-chamber. In one corner. Anti-chamber. In one back corner of the house. And then the king's was in the other corner of the house. And there was like, there was a hallway that connected the two. But they were they were separate. Yeah. So um, when, uh, when the Brady Bunch broke the mold with people sleeping together. See, they've been sleeping apart for years. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, really. So what were you going to say? We, we went to eat. We went to we eat before to we eat. went to the museum. We were we going to go to the museum, and it's like, 
do you really want to go to the museum and be hungry at 1.30 or 2 o'clock? Yeah, because we were already kind of getting hungry. And I hope you watched the video. It's the one where we went to the uh, Plume of Feathers. And it was just a really cool place. It was nice little It was very cool. I won't give it away, but you need to watch the video. It was just... It, it had so much character in it. I would have liked to have walked around more in it, but it, it was kind of small. And, and there, were, there were a couple of people, very nice ladies working there. It's the first... Or the oldest, pub the oldest pub in, in Greenwich. Greenwich. Yeah. yeah. And it's it's so cool. And it, and was, it was literally like, five minutes yeah, away. Yeah, it was like it was a very short walk mm -hmm. away. Yeah. And they said that they won some awards for an outdoor garden. Yeah, And we she didn't said it's really it. nice that the sun's shining. It's really nice out there. Yeah. Without the sunshine, it gets a little cold. Right. But, but with the sun, it was really nice. So then we came, we walked back to the uh, National Maritime Museum and we walked through that. Mm -hmm. And it Those was homes. much bigger than I thought yeah. it would be. The, we, we, um, I, I told Tammy, I said, there's three floors and all three floors kind of go in squares. I said, why don't we crawl all the way climb the stairs all the way to the top and just work our way down. And that's what we did. And it seemed to work out pretty well. And that good. was the smartest thing to do because because it was really cool the, you got it got worse as you went down <laughs> if you ask me well a lot of times you know you start at the bottom and you walk and walk and walk and then you go to the second floor and walk and walk and walk and by the time it's time for that to climb up that last set of steps you're so tired yeah so i liked kevin's idea to start our way at the top and that Work way you're walking good. down the steps instead of walking up the, you know but don't you admit it, the top floor was the best floor i think yes the and, then, and then the, the second floor. floor was interesting. And they had a children's museum part. And they did. The top floor had a children's interactive. They had a lot of interactive activities. Yeah. In there. So if you've never been and you want to take your uh, someplace for your kids to go, they had coloring activities, mm -hmm. but then they had hands-on activities that yeah. they could do. It was and, cool. It was a nice little place. Yeah. It was, it's all about you know the sea and boats and stuff like that. But it was still pretty Lots cool. Lots of lots of big ships in there that people mm -hmm. somebody has built yeah so um, so it was good if it's it's free and if your kid's interested in boats at all then it's it's a no-brainer you take them there even if they're not interested in boats they still might like it because like they had like a kitchen uh that's on a boat but that's they had true. like the fake galley. food yeah, and stuff they like that play with it. It, it was just cute yeah it was fun so then we went to uh we walked to greenwich market mm -hmm. and it is um uh uh, it's like a, a little flea market. Flea kind of. market, yeah, a flea market. And on That's different food, days, they like have that. different things. On some certain days of the week, they have more craftsy stuff, and on other days of the week, they have more antique, antique and things. And so we wanted to go on the antique day. And so I did find some Mr. Man books that I didn't have. Mm -hmm. Four? Yeah, it's like four different she, books. She said they were four for. Five pounds is how much she charges. Or a pound fifty a piece. Yeah, something like something that. Something like that. But uh, yeah, she had a stack of them, and four of those I didn't have. And um, she also had those. I can't remember the author. Those Enid Blyton or something like that. Jennifer and Nathan and Mike had told me about them, and Jennifer said that she read them. They're more teenager books. I think. I think, I think so, but but I've never read any of them. But she had a ton of those. And if, if I could bring them home, if they had been easy to get around, I, I would have bought some of them. But they were hardback books, and it's like those would weigh a ton. Well, she also said that the ones there are more the adult humorous version. That's right. She said they weren't the actual books. Right. They were the adult humor because, books. Because there was an older guy and he was probably in his 60s, 65, Yeah, and 70. he said, I've never heard he of this. He said, I've never, this is one I've never read. And she goes, that's because it's a, okay, a so humorous like, version. Right. So like Mr. Man does the adult humor and um, uh, this is like that. It's the, those books, but it's with adult humor. Right. So um, so I'm glad I didn't actually want any because that's, I wouldn't have got the actual books. I would have thought those were it. Yeah, I wouldn't, wouldn't, I wouldn't have, known, have known any better. So then after that, we went to the university, the university and we walked around and we really literally just walked down and around and back out. I mean, we really... saw a dead rat. <laughs> we did see a dead rat. So if you've watched the video, you've seen the dead rat too. I got a close up of it. And then there was this guy walking by and I, I was like, I want to see his face when he sees this dead rat. Did he look down? Never even noticed. Never mm -hmm. noticed the dead rat. And well, then, see, it rained really bad yesterday. Mm -hmm. So I'd say it drowned. I mean, it literally probably just got flooded out of somewhere. Yeah. 
Yeah, but the kids were down there playing in those rocks um, today. After seeing that dead rat, there is no, I you know. Get, with all the trash that floats down that river There's no anyway, way I'd play on it anyway. I wouldn't, I wouldn't yeah, play on Yeah, I wouldn't play on that sand. There, there's just no way. No, it would be like me. going to Boone's World. Yeah, I wouldn't play in that sand either. No, that's a local beach. There, there's no way I would go <laughs> to that sand. Okay, so anyway, then we went to Asda. And we got on a train, and we it was like uh, Lewisham is yeah. where it was located. Yeah. In it Lewisham. wasn't too bad. It was from Greenwich. It was straight down, literally gone. Took the train, walked what a block and block or two. It wasn't far at all. Yeah, a block from or two from the tube station. Walk walk two back on back on the exact same train basically, and drove back and. And you know, I did really not easy. film at all, just because. Um, Honestly, I just wanted to get it get it done. I wanted to get in there and I wanted to this was a store I'd never been in before. If it was someplace like Walmart where I see it every single day, then I I would have filmed it. And, and I know that's exactly the opposite of what I've been doing on this trip. But I just I I'm trying to pick up things to see if we've tried them. I'm holding Kevin's phone. I'm looking up on my own YouTube channel. Have we tried this? So I can't hold his phone and hold my camera at the same time and vlog. It was just too much. And it was crowded too. And and Kevin was holding the buggy. Kevin, we never could find where you get the push buggy. Yeah, we're, we're figuring it was outside somewhere. I never. So we never Kevin is carrying like. 70 pounds in this little <laughs> it seemed like so. basket. Well, the first thing he wanted to do when we went in was to pick out all these drinks. What was right in the door? So we, we was literally the first thing in the basket was six drinks. It was right in the door. So of course it's going to be heavy. It and wasn't on the way out. It was on the way in. So that's why it was heavy. Anyway. So, so we so went to Asda. We bought a bunch of stuff there. Then we went, got back on the train. Uh, we worked our way. We went back to Greenwich. Mm -hmm. We bought tickets to get on the city cruisers. Mm -hmm. uh, cruise city. Cru city Sights, cruisers or city, something like that. City sightseeing or something like city. So anyway, you, you know. City it, cruiser it? or something. something anyway. Like um, it's if, a sightseeing boat. If you get the London Pass, um, that is included with yeah. it. Yeah, I think so. When Back when we did the London Pass the first time we came, we just had so many other things that filled our do. time. We just didn't do it. That we just didn't have, we didn't have time. The weather probably would have been better. Yeah. Because was... we froze to death. Um, it I think was, I left body parts on the boat. It was <laughs> extremely cold. Um, now, today has been warmer, uh, definitely warmer than yesterday. I didn't get my phone, but it, I think Ohio was supposed to be like 62 or 64. But it was very cloudy, and so you didn't get a lot of sun, so it didn't seem that warm. And on the water, it's a good 10 or 15 degrees colder on well, the water. Well, we didn't so get was, on until, what, 5, 15 Yeah, or so the, and but when the sun would come out, it was like, oh, wow, this was really nice. Yeah. And then the sun would almost immediately go back in a cloud, and it's like, oh, it's cold. If, if you do it on a warm day, that would be the oh, best yeah, be time to do nice. it. Yeah. And, and I enjoyed it or anyway. Or if you wore a coat. If you have a coat or a really nice jacket with a hood, I think it'd be fun. I told Kevin, I said, we need to buy a hoodie. We haven't bought any hoodies here. And Kevin doesn't wear hoodies, but I he could hoodies. buy something. I don't mind um, zip up hoodies. But, but uh, I need to buy a hoodie because it's just cold and we didn't expect it to be this cold. And the places that we're going, I don't, I don't have, I choose to wear these uh, dressier. dressier clothes. But if I was wearing a hoodie, I would probably be much uh, more comfortable. More comfortable, yeah. Um, so but, I would burn up. I'd be sweating my butt off, even if it's cold outside. By walking, doing a lot of walking, I'd oh, start I would sweating. love it. I love a hoodie all the time. Um, but I, even though it was so very cold, I found myself smiling on the tour. I was just smiling at yeah. the buildings. It was neat seeing it from that angle. Yeah, it it was very very nice, and she asked us when we when we bought the tickets at Greenwich, do you want to go down to the tower? And Kevin said, well, we'd like to go down to the London Eye because we wanted to get off at our hotel. And she was like, oh okay, so it wasn't any big deal. Um, they probably charge us five dollars or five pounds. I don't something. know because. Uh, did they ever even check for tickets? No, they never looked at our tickets. Somebody, a couple other people, they looked at. I saw them look at tickets, and he tore them. Ours oh. are perfectly pristine. Yeah, I, I never saw anybody look at any kind of ticket. Oh, and I want to bring up one more thing. Um, um, back when we went to 
Oh, my leg's getting stiff. Don't oh, see okay. Much I'm sorry. Back, <laughs> oh, just one more thing. Back when we <laughs> went funny. to, we were going to Lewisham, and we had to catch the train. Oh, yeah. We rode that service that we had never been on before. Oh, it the wasn't DLR? The, yeah, it wasn't the underground. Do something R. But I, I don't understand. Maybe you all can explain it to me, people that live here. I don't understand how they don't lose a lot of money. Because when you're going in the tube into the underground, they've got this barrier. And you have to put your card on it and open the gates to get through. Yeah, you can't get through unless you do it. It's not like that on this <coughs> DLR thing. The ticket machine is over to the side. There's no barriers at all. We could have walked on, rode it, and then come back and, and never tapped in or tapped out. Um, and and but they also sell tickets too. You can buy tickets to that train. So I mean, I, I just don't so. understand how they don't lose a lot of money on that because if we hadn't have seen the the pedestal uh, with the tap in tap out, we wouldn't have even known to do it. We just saw it over to the side, and it's like, oh, okay, other people are doing it, so we'll do it. Nobody was there watching you to see if you walked past. I just don't see how they don't lose a lot of money on The only that. thing it says, there's a sign that says there's an 80-pound fine. If you get caught. You but get nobody's caught. checking. I bet you they do it all the time without. I'm sure they do it all. I think we could have done it and, and done it for free. I mean, that's just not our style. We wouldn't do it. But I think a lot of people probably ride that thing. Well, I mean, why wouldn't you if, if they don't check it? If you lived here and you knew they weren't checking them, I just don't understand what keeps people from doing it. Um, so anyway, I wanted to bring that up. But the last thing we did was the cruise, and then we came back up to the room, and so we're here now. I have had 15,389 steps today. I don't think that's bad at all. No, not bad. We, we didn't run we our did, tails off. We did the bus. We did the train. We did a lot of other... We did the boat. Yeah. You know, so we did other means of transportation. Tour we didn't have to walk a lot today. Yeah, yeah, it was nice. And I told you the weather. It was nice, cloudy, but but still kind of cool. Yeah. Um, tomorrow's supposed to be just a slight chance of rain. So yesterday's prediction was right about today. So hopefully today's prediction is right about tomorrow. I'm hoping hopefully it's just that very, it just won't even rain at all. I think it was only like a two-hour period of time it was supposed to rain tomorrow. Mm -hmm. It was like 11 o'clock or so. Yeah, hopefully it will stop. Because last time it said it was supposed to stop at 11 and it never stopped. It, never it stopped kept all going on, on. on and on and on. So hopefully it will stop. But anyway, we've we've had a good day. We're going to let you all go because we need to contact the front desk. The maid that did our room did not uh, give us any toilet paper. So we literally have like 10, 15 sheets of toilet paper in there they'll like stack like kleenex so yeah and you pull them out like a kleenex that is not going to get us through until we leave tomorrow so we're going to have to we've had to do this last year we're doing it it's again like they don't year. check their stock it's just yeah. it's it's a it's a problem it's a common problem it is a problem problem they should check the hand soap they should check it in the the shower and at the sink and they need to check their toilet paper yeah, just fill them up open yeah. it up so now up. they're going to have to come up here because they just didn't refill it. So anyway, we will talk to you tomorrow, and thanks for watching. This is Kevin on the toilet. <laughs> he's not using the toilet. Look what he's having to do. This is how much toilet paper we have. It's probably enough. Uh, it's not worth the chance to me. They did not fill up our toilet paper today. So and I didn't give us a hand towel either. Not that that's yeah, they didn't give us a hand that. towel, which they always do. Um, I called downstairs, and um, like an hour and a half ago. Yeah, and I said, um, I said we the the maid did not refill our toilet paper, and we need a hand towel. And he said, okay. So mm -hmm. I waited like at least what an hour and a at half. Least an hour. And it's like, I want to take a shower. And they're still not coming. So I called back downstairs. And um, he said, I'll see if we have some down here. And then I'll ring you back if we do. So Kevin actually had to go downstairs. Our own toilet paper. And pick up our toilet paper and bring it back to the room. Because they didn't have somebody to come and bring it to the room. Mm 